Hey guys, so before we start the video, I have put a freelance services link that I provide in the description of this video and you can basically go and check them out. So let's start. Hey guys, so today we are going to discuss about a very commonly in demand skill. It is web design on Fiverr. You will find a lot of web designers and today I'm going to show you how you can start your own gig in web designing. Now there are levels to web design. Some people know backend coding. Some people know, you know, have got a lot of experience with other CMSs. But uh, most people use WordPress, so you can always start with WordPress. My recommendation is if you are new to web design, start with WordPress. I will give a tutorial on that or if if you don't want to wait for that you can always just go here search for web development tutorial tutorial all right so here you will see there are 10 hours tutorials you know there are tutorials which are like really long like full flash classes people have given full flash classes for free where you can just check out what kind of te techniques people are using and the best part is it's in many different languages like these web design is such a common and such a in demand skill that people got tutorials in every every place like i have seen tutorials in different languages and different cultures and people need good websites everywhere on the planet earth at the end of the day your website is basically representation of your web business so it's very necessary so yeah so at the end of the day my recommendation is start with wordpress right start with basic wordpress and uh, so my recommendation is start with wordpress and uh, here you can basically just as i show you here you can just search for web development tutorials and most of them will teach you WordPress because most people use WordPress. So now let's just talk about what kind of websites people, what kind of services people are providing. Like as you can see, Squarespace, WordPress. Now there is another part of web design which is basically setting up the whole hosting and stuff which requires a different kind of skills not necessarily related to ui now here's something you can see wix web design wix is a drag and drop tool now people are basically searching for it for some reason and now there is shopify web design which is a drag and drop e-commerce platform there are web ui web ui user interface and stuff which is you can learn this for free on youtube now there are different kinds of services there are different kinds of people are charging different amount of money according to their experience and their reviews and on fiverr reviews is basically your bread and butter so make sure that you get those reviews and uh, yeah at the end of the day there is not a whole lot to discuss here because i will be creating some tutorials on web design once we start to you know do a full flesh tutorial now there is such thing called a full stack development you know there are people who are get basically teaching these courses and stuff there are some paid courses too for full stack development my recommendation is to start with free ones but you can search for hold on you come here and you can search for for as you can see html css javascript now many people don't necessarily use coding they use wordpress so you don't have to code a lot you can just do a drag and drop but uh, still there are a lot of good good great tutorials which are for like you can basically search for web development e-commerce website so people will teach you how to do e-commerce website development and uh, yeah so here are the ones so easy tutorials and they will teach you how to create a whole e-commerce e website on youtube for free so that is the best thing and uh, yeah my recommendation is start with wordpress and then go for other cmss go for other backend languages and stuff go for python javascript php and we will be discussing this particular topic of web development in the future in very detail because i want you guys to really understand how much it is in demand it will always be in demand because no matter what people will need some something that is developed by experts because when, when you start to understand the color combination and uh, what kind of functionalities now there are people who know coding who can do a whole lot of stuff that uh, wordpress cannot do so my recommendation is learn some coding if you want to go full time in web, de web design and web development it will help you a lot and uh, always have a portfolio as i always say always have a portfolio 
because your portfolio will basically show you what kind of stuff you have done in the past and it will help you to decide your prices and basically how much you can charge the best part with fiverr is, is let's just see what are people charging and let's just check out if they are getting orders and stuff what's going on so as you can see here you can see he got 11 orders in queue 11 orders in queue 295 dollars is the minimum price so this is like good amount of revenue for any anything any place right it's around to three thousand dollars so it's pretty good right so let's go here let's go here 200 dollars six orders in queue so ui us designs and stuff so people from sweden are basically basically ordering his service nft ui design nft websites and stuff my recommendations don't go with I'm an nft and stuff do you you know uh, i have got some personal opinions about nft i uh, it's just it's not very good but anyways let's just come, come here as you can see these are the services this person is going to provide all of these services you can learn on wordpress which will take hardly two months just start your own start your tutorials and start with tutorial search on youtube how to start develop a website on wordpress you can search this exact keyword how to develop a website on wordpress people have searched for this and you will find such a detailed play tutorials on this like you will find a lot of detailed tutorials very detailed tutorials recent ones old ones and you will find a lot of information regarding this and your journey will start as a web developer and my recommendation is create a portfolio getting a certificate is not necessary in this particular industry it's more and more with your portfolio but as i have created some websites i can show there are those websites and basically get some projects out of them because at the end of the day uh, certification is good but it's not going to help you a whole lot if you don't have a portfolio but if you have a successful portfolio if you have created like 20 30 websites it's just it's good you, that means you already know your stuff and people will be ordering from you so that's all i got okay thank you